Well, buenos dias. I am now leaving the town of Agus, or as it's spelled, Ages. We just had an awesome, awesome stay here. Great little town, had a little, uh, like a bar slash cafe that we just invaded. And it's run by a father or a husband and wife combination and they just loved us. We, we you know, we're determining something. Don't do the pilgrims meals at the towns. Do something outside of it. Go to somewhere and say, we want this, this, and this, and how much will you charge? And they just took care of us like way better. I'll be back. Yeah, so getting back to that, uh, it seems like every time you go somewhere and they have a pilgrim's meal, you get a little ripped off. It's almost like they figure, just by saying it's a pilgrim's meal, you're, you're getting the best deal. But <clears throat> yesterday, Ed, uh, he went in there and he basically said, we've got all these people, we want this, 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 and this. Can you do it? And it was cheaper per head for all of us to be totally fed as much as we want. It, it, and it was almost like a, having your mom or an aunt make it for you. It was like the best pasta. It was best food, best, and they kept coming bringing it out. It's almost like we were at somebody's home. And so we sort of decided from here on out, let's not go to where it says it's a pilgrim's meal. Let's go to some place and try to make it a personal experience. And it was really cool. It was a, probably one of the best little sitting meals we had. And a dog from the town, this little Siberian Husky came up. And some of the food that they bring out, none of us could really do it. They had bacon that sort of seemed a little raw. Even though I'm, I'm not knocking the meal. The meal was fantastic. But they had like blood sausage, which is a local delicacy. Everyone loves it here. But I just, for me and most of the people, we all took a bite and we decided blood sausage was probably not our thing. It seemed to be more of a Klingon meal. And so we ended up uh, feeding the dog. And that dog, by the time, had the best time. He was all like, oh, these are my best friends. Yeah, it was really cool. Okay, so today, uh, about a 21, 22 kilometer walk to Burgess. And in Burgess, we're pretty much unanimously taking a rest day. So we're all gonna get there, let our feet heal. Um, one of the things I've learned is how to pop a blister and that you have to pop it multiple times. And one of the tricks seems our group has developed is to put a piece of thread through it, like you're sewing right through your blister so it keeps draining. And it seems to be working like a champ on most people's feet. So that little tip for you future pilgrims. So today I have no idea if it's going to be a pretty sight. Uh, apparently coming into town yesterday, I missed one of the most interesting little features. There was a spiral, almost like a beautiful little prayer. They call it a prayer spiral. And if you're coming into August, keep your eyes open. I walked right by it like half of the people didn't even see it. And some of the people who did, they stopped and really got to enjoy it. But it's a spiral of like rows of stones. And the purpose of it is for you to engage in a prayer. You go around and you follow into the spiral and you go all the way to the center. And then uh, as you're praying the whole time, you're supposed to take the stone that you brought and put it down in the middle to sort of focus your prayers. I don't, I'm not really sure if that's it, but that's sort of how it was described to me. And it seemed pretty cool. I wish I would have stopped and got pictures of this thing, but I totally didn't. So huh, that's it. So I'm on my way to Burgess. I, uh, I'm hoping to meet up with one of my pilgrims because I forgot to put sunscreen on, but I have my hat. And today I'm wearing long pants because I actually had sun poisoning on my leg, according to uh, one of our friends who's an EMT. My leg was blistering up from sun. I mean, it looked like I was burned. I actually didn't feel anything, but it looked pretty nasty. So I'm wearing pants when I usually wear shorts, especially on hot days. And that's it. So I'll check in later, especially if there's something cool. Adios. So it's later in the day. I am on the road in Burgos now. And this is just a little example of how a lot of the way is not very pretty. The first part from the town we were in of August to like over through the hills, beautiful, serene countryside. And then you start getting into this nasty industrial, the first, I mean, it feels like a first mile of it was almost abandoned stuff. It was like a graveyard of warehouses and old gas stations that were run down and closed. 
And you can see I'm on sort of an industrial city section. It's, I'm not sure how far we have to walk through to get to the actual pretty part of the city. And I'm here right next to a Bridgestone Tire Factory. I can actually smell tires. It's sort of gross. Everybody's not too pleased with this portion. There's a little group I just passed. They're trying to take a break in the shade. But uh, obviously, not all of the way is a beautiful, wonderful walk through the park. Some of it is just nasty industrial, bad city smells and pollution, just like every other bad city. So I'm sort of just trudging through because I want to get through this. I'm doing a rest day in Burgos and I'm planning on having a really relaxing time in the old city near the cathedral. I'm going to spend two nights there, try to heal my feet, try to get recharged, try to catch up on all my writing and emails and all the stuff that I've been neglecting while I'm out here. So, uh, this is, well, this is the sad part of the way, I guess. But I will try to film some stuff from inside the city. Apparently the cathedral here is one of the nicest, possibly the nicest cathedral on the entire Camino. So everybody says you gotta go see it. So I'm thinking of doing like the whole tour and all that. So I might have some good footage. 